Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You should check out how your report will display with the actual data being used from the data source using the preview function of Crystal Reports. To preview a report for the first time, select File and then choose Print Preview from the menu bar, or you could simply click the Print Preview button which is located in the standard toolbar. Crystal Reports will then create a new tab named Preview where you can see the report with the associated data displayed. Once the Preview tab has been created, you can easily switch between the Design tab and the Preview tab in the future when you wish to view the data as it will display in the report. Note that when you're viewing the Preview tab, you'll see a set of buttons appear to the right of the displayed tabs. We use these buttons to navigate through the preview of the data in the report. You can click the small left and right pointing arrows to navigate back and forth through the pages in the preview. You can click the buttons that look like the small left and right pointing arrows with the line next to them to jump to the very first page or the very last page within a report. You can click the small X button to delete the preview tab entirely. You can click the small square button that appears at the far right end to stop data processing in the report, displaying only the data that's been pulled from the data source in the preview up until the point when you clicked the square button. And that might be used for reports that draw for several thousand records and perhaps you don't want to wait for all of the records to be retrieved before you see them for the preview. You'll also see a page numbering indicator between the sets of arrows in this bar. Page numbering is displayed in a X of Y format where X is the current page and Y is the total number of pages. Also note that Crystal Reports will only display a single formatted page at a time in the preview. So if you see a small plus sign next to the total page count, it means that there are additional pages to display, but that Crystal has not yet rendered these pages, so the total page count is still unknown. You can simply click the Last Page button to jump to the last page and get an accurate page count. Also, the time and or date displayed in this bar indicates the most recent date and time that the report's data was pulled from the underlying data source. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.